the greatest immediate danger to students with diabetes is hypoglycemia. That's low blood glucose. Remember how it sounds, hypo, low. The other thing you need to remember is that many times, hypoglycemia cannot always be prevented. Be alert for a range of possible signs that something's wrong. Different students can have different symptoms. They may be lethargic or irritable. They may feel weak or unable to think straight. They may be combative. And they may start sweating. Hypoglycemia can come on suddenly without warning. Students can get tired or start feeling ill for any number of reasons. Test your blood sugar. No, I'm fine. Are you sure? If they're doing sports, they can sweat. But if they've got diabetes, you need to watch for any change in behavior or appearance. Hypoglycemia can be unpredictable. The student's condition can deteriorate very quickly. If not treated promptly, they may have a seizure, trouble swallowing, or they may faint. Be familiar with the student's low symptoms and treatment as contained in the Diabetes Medical Management Plan and know where to find the student's low blood glucose supplies. Fruit juice, glucose tabs, or regular soda can deliver 15 grams of fast-acting carbohydrate. Your job is to intervene and treat before the student's condition worsens. And remember, a student experiencing hypoglycemia should never be left alone. Hypoglycemia can come on at any time, not just during sports. Sometimes the signs are not going to jump out at you. But again, if you've got a student with diabetes, keep an eye out for the red flags. Watch to see if she's sweating or feeling weak when she shouldn't be, if she loses interest or looks pale or sleepy. Clammy skin can be another sign. But the main thing to look for is the change in behavior. A minute ago, the student was focused and looked fine. Very suddenly, though, she's lost interest, and she looks just out of it. You have your meter in your purse? It's in my locker, but I'll be okay. Stay right there. I'm going to get you some juice. Hypoglycemia can sometimes affect the way people think. So don't expect the student to know what's happening, or even be cooperative. If you don't have a blood glucose meter, Treat for hypoglycemia anyway. After a hypoglycemic event, kids need time to rest and recover.